I've done several Phineas and Ferb videos at this point, mostly listening to songs or watching out of context clips, but not all that long ago I did a video watching Roller Coaster the Musical, I think that's what it was called? Which was the very first time I'd ever watched an actual episode. So I thought what might be cool is watching the highest rated episode, which is called Act Your Age. I think I've at least listened to a song from this because I think it's the episode with the time jump. I don't know, <laughs> I guess that's what I'd call it. It's canon, right? Yeah, it's kind of stuff that happens. And if I remember correctly, I think it got emotional with some nostalgia. So, you know, I'm sort of not entirely ready, but I'm sure it will be a wonderful experience. Before we start, I don't say it enough, but I have a Discord server. There's a link in the description. I'm on there a fair amount chatting, sometimes doing voice chats. And there's also a channel where you can request reactions. So if you feel like joining, I'll see you there. Let's go. Am I gonna cry? I hope not. Or maybe I hope. Ugh, I'm running out of time, Ferb. I gotta choose a school. Okay, but why does Ferb kind of look so stylish, though? Kind of slaying. Do I stay local or go abroad? Trade school? Art school? Come on, Ferb. Yeah, you could do Come pretty much decision. anything you wanted, right? Get in the booth. Oh, the cool. Booth. All my college acceptance letters. I thought the telephone booth. They have another booth? Oh, cool. All my college acceptance letters. <laughs> I guess we're gonna let fate decide this one. Does he mean to sound so pompous sometimes, or does it just come off that way? It's like, oh, cool. All my college acceptance letters. <laughs> I have so many, I have to pile them in here. Bro, his hair slaps. I, I, I keep getting distracted by it. He's just got such a style. We're just gonna randomly pick a college? Cubestad Academy. Uh, which one was that again? Uh, great physics department. Norway. Hmm. Don't feel I'm ready for those cold winters. <laughs> okay. Comedy traffic school. Well, if it's fate. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot easier when we were young and just waiting for our voices to drop. Hey, guys. I find it hard to believe that he wouldn't have a plan. I don't know, not even necessarily a set plan, but just narrowed it down to a few options. He's still mulling over literally like a hundred different colleges that have accepted him. Also, Baljeet, <laughs> he's so tall. <laughs> Something was caught in my <laughs> So, still trying to figure out where to go to school? Working on it. I was just giving Buford some pointers on collegiate life. Since I've already graduated and been accepted as a professor, I could pull some strings and get him into yes. my school. Just think, Buford, you could <laughs> be my just student. Got like a little scarf. It's not the style I would have expected from Buford, but I do like that they're still friends. Don't get too excited. I'm going to film school. I'm concentrating on tragedies. <laughs> Hell yeah. I can see it. Search for meaning in a post-apocalyptic society. It sounds pretentious. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> why, why do I suddenly kind of like Buford? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, he's going to Camford on Oxbury. <laughs> Camford on Oxbury. It sounds like a wizard school. It's not a wizard school. It just sounds so very, very English. English. Why don't you so I guess the same thing. Why not go where Candace goes to school? Law school? I don't know. Candace is doing law school? And that concludes my dissertation on modern investigative techniques for establishing proof of guilt with or without physical evidence. Well, that's in it, Candace. That's messed. Why is Candace going down like a villainous path? That's not good. Evidence is good. <laughs> that's my that's my hot take for the day. Spectacular! I've never had a student convince me of something so completely baseless before. Sufficiently terrifying. Yeah, I don't know if Candace's school is the place for me. Forget the booth. I'm gonna go with my gut. It's between these two. Danville U and Tri-State State. Tri-State State, State. Looks like I have some thinking to do. Hey, the epic struggle of a triangle-headed boy to choose between two schools. I like that they are aware that he is triangle-headed and that that's weird. Oh, there's still... <laughs> Wipe dust off. <laughs> what? Doofenshmirtz just hasn't been doing anything for like a decade? Are they, if they're gonna be like Perry is dead or something. And then he, that's made him stop doing cry. Oh, that'll be so sad, bro. Old evil scientist alert system. It's showing innator activity on a Dr. Duford. No. Is that fix it Felix? I caught that. Oh my God. I, from one line, I recognize him. Oh my God. That's wild. Sorry for the tangent. I just, I heard him and I was like, fix it Felix and Phineas and Fur. <laughs> Schmarts, great googling moogly. I thought he'd given up his evil ways when my new catchphrase. Science teacher. Oh, Van Monogram isn't around to see this. Well, sir, Aww. it's gone to a better place. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, he got moved to like a new job oh, or something. What the heck? I'm gonna call him. Right. <laughs> Yo, what a vibe. Bora Bora really is a better place. <laughs> I knew that he wasn't going to be dead, obviously, but that's freaking adorable that Doofenshmirtz stopped being a villain because they placed him as a high school teacher. That is so cute and also so Doofenshmirtz. Channel all of that energy into something positive. Oh, I've, I've come full circle. I just love him now. I remember being like, yeah, Doofenshmirtz is dumb. Don't be a villain. And now I'm like, I love you. <laughs> Take over the world. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a better place. I've been well. Guess who's just set off the innator alert? Doofenshmirtz? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just like old times. Well, tell him hi for me. Is there gonna be an old version of Pe- Oh, there you go. As soon as I start talking- He looks the same! No, it's not bowling night, it's Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> He's activated the innator alert system. We think he may have returned to evil. <laughs> He just kept- Oh, I thought he was- Okay. I thought he was in the middle of a vacation. He's just on the tree. What is the lifespan of a platypus? I don't know. Is he still going to be able to do some crazy spy sh Or- <laughs> Why did he- if, if he's been retired or whatever for all this time, why does he just have a jetpack next to- Just in case. <laughs> At all times, I keep my trusty jetpack next to me in case I need to launch into taking down a villain. It hasn't done anything for 10 years, apparently. Bella is off to Tri-State State. Oh, wow. Really? Huh. <laughs> I haven't seen much of her this summer. Why do parents buy so Why? weird food? Everything's light, low, non-free, or diet. So she's leaving? Yes. <laughs> I always thought the two of you would end up together. I wish. I am so in the friend zone there. Oh my god, you're so oblivious. Okay. It's ridiculous. You do know she had a giant crush on you for ages. Uh, no. Oh, come on. It was so obvious. I love how everyone else knows, and they're like, are you really- you're, you're you're really this oblivious, you fool. <laughs> Even Buford's like, are you like, hello? What's wrong with you, bro? We just all thought you didn't like her. <laughs> she came over to your house every day for 11 years to see what you were doing. When she looked at you, her pupils actually formed little hearts. <laughs> you don't know that did they did multiple times, right? Ferb? Well, why didn't you guys ever tell me? I was, I was about to say the exact same thing. They're just like, you really didn't know? We all knew and I'm like, why not? How did nobody mention this to him? Even in passing, all this time. If I saw someone's eyes literally turn into hearts when they look at someone, I'd be like, hey, did you see that? Maybe they like you. <laughs> I, I gotta think. I'm gonna take a walk. See you guys. Hmm, maybe it is not too late. We should try to get them together. You know, before Isabella leaves for school. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Why do I suddenly love their dynamic? I don't know. Now that they're just like older and chill. They're just a, such good friends. I love it so much. Also just occurred to me because it's in the future. Is he going to have a good relationship with Vanessa? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. That's going to be so cute. Oh, he's old and gray. Is it Thursday already? Thursday. Well, bowling. My bowling. Ball, ball, right. Wait, where's your stuff? Huh? <laughs> Oh, no, that's not evil, so, so I don't think it counts. Oh, wait a minute. Did I set off the innate alert? Oh, that is so funny. Probably scared the heck out of Commander. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, well, I, I know it can look intimidating, but th there's no reason to be afraid. What is he actually evil. making? It isn't even the innate or. The innate or is this gold chain. Once it's charged, I'm going to put it around my neck, and it will activate the insecurity parts of my brain and trigger a full-blown midlife crisis. Allow me to explain. He wants a midlife crisis? Also, hey man, you know, I don't mean to be mean, but mid-life crisis? He seems so chill still. Guess they're bland, old lives are now filled with spices. They're having a mid-life crisis. <laughs> they're all getting sports cars and new to me. It's so ridiculous. I love him. I've always had more than my share of vices, but I never had. So is he jealous of everyone having midlife crises because he's just so secure in who he is and what he's doing with his life and he's just happy? And he wants to change that? I'm sick and tired of being out of the game. Everyone's so discontent, I wish I felt the same. It's not like my life has been a total delight, but something must be wrong because I feel all right. Oh, dude, I'm just glad he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Perry, Perry's just watching like, am I having a fever dream? But then he like glances down at the feet like, bro's kind of got moves though. <laughs> Is he gonna be like mad and secure now? <laughs> wow, I 
feel pretty energized. I want to do something exciting and fun and, and also incredibly stupid. Come on, Perry the Platypus. Has he like accidentally fried the portion of his brain that deals with inhibitions or something instead and he's just going to end up doing a whole bunch of reckless stuff? Is Perry going to be here to like protect him instead of like fight him and stop him from doing stuff? That'd be an adorable dynamic. Are you texting about heat again? Yeah, we're at odds deciding what movie to see later. He wants to go to the one about that planet and I want to see the one with that guy. Well, don't fight about it. Manipulate the situation. Manip the what? Bad advice. Pretend you don't care about your movie, but then hint that it's playing at the theater next to the Froyo place he likes. The seed is planted, and he'll think it's his idea to go there. Hi, guys. Food's up. This is just a crazy idea. Uh, just some advice for life. Um, you can just talk to people. And if you want something in particular, you can express that to a partner. And uh, you might find that they might do it more often than if you don't and then secretly want them to. <laughs> this may be the last time I'm stuffing your faces before I'm off to school. I got it, Mom. Anyway, enjoy. Gotta treat my fireside girl alums right. Hey, hey, Baljeet says okay to my movie. Mm-hmm. Works every time. Where is Baljeet anyway? Oh, he's over at Phineas's. Oh, Phineas. Phineas. It's too bad. Why are they all? Phineas never got together. I was like, why? Why are they all like, oh, Phineas? Do they all love him? But no, just literally everyone in the town both know that Isabella is into Phineas and that they'd probably be good together, and yet nobody said anything at all to either of them. I guess this whole time. She doesn't have time to manipulate a situation where she and Phineas can get together. But we do. Yeah, she's hey, just like thumbs. working. It's I don't get. <laughs> why are they so pitiful of her? Ginger texting you again? Yes. The girls want to get Phineas and Isabella together. Wasn't that our idea? <laughs> yeah. He's like, what timing? I'm to write her back in a passive way that makes her think it's really her idea. She is trying to manipulate the situation. It is how we love. <laughs> Man, like, I guess if it works for them, but that would frustrate the hell out of me. Oh, he dyed his hair. <laughs> That made me jump. Oh my god. Hey, Is he gonna steal the boat? Fancy we can sail the world okay, you're just gonna steal someone's boat, bro. I knew that the die was gonna come out immediately. No, wait, even better. Sports car! <laughs> it doesn't really seem like he's insecure and having a midlife crisis. It just seems like he just wants to do a whole bunch of stuff. So go off, King. Here, let me get that for you, Nana Shapiro. Phineas, oh. Oh, Anna, look at you so tall and handsome. I'm going to college, <laughs> I hear. Oh, how time flies. Oh, she's so what sweet. Going to school? I haven't really decided. Isabella came over to say goodbye this morning. She's this morning? To... But her school doesn't start for two more weeks. Oh, honey, didn't you know? She's leaving today. As soon as she's done with work, something about needing Today? To... Does she know that... Look at me. If you have anything you need to say <laughs> to her, you'd better go over to the restaurant and say... For real, everyone, everybody in this whole town is like, Oh, I, I just kind of thought they were together, to be honest. <laughs> You're right. Thanks. The restaurant is that way. He's just going to leg it the whole way. Fun? It's like when we were kids, building stuff and what did they make it? We'll build the perfect dinner date for Isabella and Phineas. Oh, that's kind of weird. And when we get them to come back here and see it and each other, they're bound to fall madly in love like they were always meant to be. This is a bit of a weird plan. I'm not gonna lie. A group of friends organizing a dinner date for two people without telling either of them that it's happening and they're in their own backyard, no less. In, well, in the backyard of one of them and being like, hey guys, so we know that you didn't know that this was gonna happen. And also that one of you has told us to never meddle in all of this because they don't want the other person to know if it's not gonna be a thing. However, sit down, fall in love, eat the food and live happily ever after. Go to the same university, do everything together for the rest of time. In fact, after this, we're going to shackle you guys to one another's arms and you will never, ever get them off. You know, you can't force these things. Oh, voice of reason. Hello. We'll play the songs I put on this playlist. They're all about love and it will trigger them to start thinking about love. This is weird. Streamers and balloons in both of their favorite colors, which will stimulate the romantic centers of their brains, making them think about love. Kind of creepy, actually, now. We have this <laughs> I guess that works. He didn't even take Perry. 
So, what else you got? We got another one just like it, but in yellow. Also, how does he have money? He's like a high school teacher now, right? It's the perfect romantic setting out there. It'll be like love kicked them both what in the face. <laughs> the table exactly how I like to feel. I think the turbo kicks in when it wraps up the <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, it's okay, we're fine. But we do seem to have picked up a passenger. Hell yeah. Oh god, he's gonna... <laughs> yeah. I love him. Drive safely, sweetheart. And oh, that's so good. sweet. Okay, mom. I'm very proud of you. I will miss you so much. I'll miss you This is actually so cute. What the hell? Your last paycheck. I love you. I'll call. I love how supportive her mom is. That's so adorable. Whoops. She literally carried a photo of him in his- Oh, this is the song, right. Man, she's down bad, man. For real, like, I'm just surprised she hasn't said any- Oh, no, she has. That's right. She has, multiple times, been very quite direct, if I remember correctly. And Phineas has been like, cool, man. Always glad to have a friend like you. Because he is apparently stupid. Well, at least emotionally. <laughs> I still just love her voice. There's something about it. It's just, I don't know, it's just really sweet. There's always something about this specific type of unrequited love that's sort of been there from such a young age and never really been properly addressed. She has no closure at all. This song feels like it's her making her own artificial closure. Like I am making a decision to move on. And then I know he just comes in and just like reopens all that. Ah, so oh, I remember this being so sad. She's kind of been through it. I'm not gonna lie. And he completely misses. Phineas, honey, how are you? Hi, Mrs. Garcia Shapiro. Uh, is Isabella here? Oh no, sweetie, she's gone. Gone like driving car school gone? Yes, you just missed her. It's too bad you didn't get to see her all. Couldn't he just always join the school anyway? I wish I had known. I can't believe that all this time you never said a word. Oh my god, she did though. <laughs> and I just never heard. Okay, I was about to get riled up again, but I remember that he's like at least acknowledging that hey, maybe I've just been really oblivious to maybe even an unreasonable degree. Never <laughs> Hot eyes. I guess I wasn't that alert. But I must say that in retrospect. You were being quite over. Yeah, she really was. Oh, and he's now realizing all of the signs. <laughs> no, Andrew, I have to start biting my lip because I can feel, I can feel the tears welling. Ah, oh, stop it. I'm not allowed to have emotions. I'm cold, calculated, and I, <laughs> did you call me a dick? <laughs> Wow. All I do on this channel is roast cartoons and shows and, and, and love music. I'm not allowed to feel things. The ship name. It sounds kind of weird though. My umbrella. The way she's like fading in and out of existence in these situations is so sad. So, and I hated it too! He's, he's just in a diaper. I was expecting like at least like, I don't know, some sort of weird toga thing. Just straight up a diaper. I mean, it's sweet that they still have this, at least we'll always be in each other's lives as a friend. Wait, doesn't he? I swear he like kisses her or something. Not in this song, I guess. Well, that's it's very good, depressing. But... Oh God, and they've organized this thing and she's not even here. Oh God. Is Phineas gonna rock up and sit at the table alone? Jesus Christ. This has gone from kind of weird to just like horrifically depressing in the span of two minutes. All right, let's get him over here now. 
Oh, wait. I don't have any charge. Oh, this is her old number. Wait, where's my phone? My phone's <laughs> I just got the 21G in the well, fair enough. Two months. Um, guys? Wow, now it's exactly like it was when we were kids. <laughs> Wasn't it when you got there as well? When I did a little Eva, just the two of us. <laughs> I just love these two as friends. I would probably watch a spin-off of just them just doing stuff. Also, that was a very hard slap. Even the suggestion of being evil. Maybe I should just go hit on the cute jump instructor instead. Hi there. Is she gonna push him out the plane? That's being a successful scientist. For real, right? I get to meet lots of attractive women, such as yourself. You want to know the best part about oh, being God. a jump instructor? What? Push. <laughs> Is his hat gonna stay on? Doubt. <laughs> okay, Perry the Platter. Oh yeah, how many times is Perry like parachute? He probably this is probably like a like a regular old day for him. He's just like, oh, we're gonna do this crazy thing. We're gonna go skydiving. And Perry's like, that's just like a required thing for every shift I do at work, bro. What next? You want to fly a jetpack? Oh, is that novel for you? That is it. This midlife crisis isn't nearly as much fun as I thought it was going to be. From now okay, on, so who's the necklace gonna hit or land on? Old life with my predictable, boring old friends. Uh, th that reminds me, did you reserve the lanes for Thursday night? Where is oh god? Linda, I don't know what's come over me, but I'm starting to get the most wild and uninhibited ideas. What's he gonna do? I've relaxed with a nice cup of Earl Grey. Well, not it's gonna mix it up. Today I'm pulling out all the chamomile. Darjeeling. <laughs> you are a madman. That would that would like straight up that would be almost word for word my response if someone said that. Probably more sarcastically, but I would say that. Are we still singing? Oh no, it's just the music. Why is she back? Oh, she came to say bye to him. She's like, I can't leave without talking to you. Oh my God, what she looks so doing? sad. <laughs> hey, get out of the middle of the street. Stand off of the road, please. I'm just expecting a bus to come barreling through. And that's how Phineas and Ferb ends. He's splattered on the road right before confessing his love for Isabella. Right? I knew it. I actually came by to say goodbye to you. Off to school, huh? Yeah, I'm going two weeks early because I'm an RA and in soccer, debate camp, student government. Damn, she's gonna yeah. kill it though. I haven't seen you all summer. I've been busy. You know, Belgeet said something funny. He said you had a crush on me back in grade school. Oh, yeah, I had a big crush on you. Wow, I had no idea. Really? I thought I was being so obvious. You were, bro. You sort of gave up when we got to high school. Yeah. That is a long crush. Have you decided where you're going yet? You know what? I just did. Oh. Huh. Hey, what's wrong? Did oh, you give her the wrong one? <laughs> wrong letter. Well, I guess I'll see you in two weeks. Yes. Yes, you will. Kiss. Fools. Oh. It's a when, where the hell did they come from? This group of people just slowly gather around you as you're having quite a private and intimate conversation. And then after you guys go, yeah, well, we'll see each other. It'll be cute. They just, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so weird. We have been trying to get you two together all day. You guys are the best. So what did I miss? It was Put some pants on. I'm going to miss you guys. So, you know, Okay, I think they're about to have a moment, but I was like, they didn't actually like say anything. They didn't commit to anything or even ask each other out. It was just, I used to have a crush on you. Yeah, so did I. Well, see you at school. <laughs> I know that there's an underlying implication, but like, can't huh? one of them say, so do you want to go out? Do you want to kiss? Is it, do you want to, you know, explore this? <laughs> oh, they're gonna kiss now, right? No. My God, fool's kiss. <laughs> See ya. In two weeks. Nah, I've waited this long. <laughs> Lol, I love the snark. So, try state to state, huh? Good choice. Hey, Fer. <laughs> Did, Hi. are they together? Yes. I love that. They've been together for a while. Really? Oh, that just works. I don't know why, it just makes sense. Also, I love that Doofenshmirtz just went, I'm not gonna like get rid of the car. Vanessa can have it. Burp's taking me out for Ukrainian food. Can oh, we yeah. drop you anywhere? Hmm. As a matter of fact. Oh, she's so happy. That's cute. Is he like, I'm coming with you? 
doing? This. <laughs> wow, his like face entirely disappears when he when he does that. It's so weird. I didn't want to comment on it, but I was kind of like, what's the logistics of kissing someone with a triangle face like that? How would that even work? And he go to kiss you just like, ow, my eye. <laughs> Lucky there's no traffic. Oh, that was worth the wait. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Yesterday we were drawing our first doodles of these kids. Yeah, I, I know it's a it's a sweet episode, but it's Dan's just like chill, chill, bro. We, we already we already made this. Um, you know, I I got a thing. I'm gonna. I mean, I was close to being like this a minute ago, so I can't, uh, I can't say anything. Yeah, wow. Uh, yes, that was improved by context. It was a bit more emotional. I mean, honestly though, it did work as a standalone thing. I don't even know what to say. I just feel sad and nostalgic. I haven't even watched all of the show. But if I had and I watched that as like the penultimate episode, that would probably have me in tears. I've cried at, at many shows and I will continue to do so. That's it. I don't think I have much else, man. My emotion tank is gone. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.